Oh, <laughs> hello, people. My name is Kale Boss. Hmm? The only boss. <laughs> oh, wait, what this? Ah, have you heard? Wait, do you know that Tap Tap Send is live in Texas? Oh, you didn't know. We went to New York. Now we are live in Texas. So, people in Texas and around, all you have to do is to download Tap Tap Send. Yes, Tap Tap Send has become the most unique, secure, and fast way of sending money across the world to your loved ones anywhere. Okay? So, download Tap Tap Send on Google Play Store or App Store. And when you're in Texas or around, you just have to put in the code TXGH. What did I say? T X G H and you get ten dollars for your first transaction you make. Hey, but yeah, Mahama media, text us. You drew her very soon. We will conquer everywhere. Download Top Top Send now on Google Play and App Store. Top Top Send. It's secure, convenient, easy, and fast. <laughs> As it stands now, this will be the last in the series of the recap of activities for Shatter Movement Empire. And I'm talking about a busy and booked December. We have done very well going through most of the shows we played. Oh, but that's the, all of them that we played. I'm talking about the main ones. Like Roland said the other day, the less outings here and there, those ones maybe you find time to discuss them some other day to come. But the major ones that were advertised, I want to believe you've gone through all. And this will be the final in the series of uh, the recap of December activity. And I think so far, so very good. I've been reading some positive comments both on Facebook as well as on YouTube. And it means that the agenda has gone down well with you guys we are so grateful once again we are going to look about uh, at about some three uh of three huh? yeah, yeah, yeah. okay we're going to look at some three programs and that will end the series then we can move on to the rest of the year of course the rest of the year looks beautiful already shut up wale has released about five songs running and he's about to add even a new one or better still he's even added a new one which is called the balloon ha 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 and i want to believe the year has started well for sm people all things being equal on 25th january there will be the collect album as well powered by bankuli entertainment they will also be giving us that body of work for our listening pleasure. What else? We can only do it and do it right. Meanwhile, Digital Rasta Currency is still on camera. Richie Flex is the editor director of the show. Tap Tap Send is still holding us down here as much as support is concerned here on the channel. Summit Flex TV. Get an app on your phone. If you have to send money from abroad to Ghana, put in your key details. Remember to use the promo code Summit Flex. All these things will surely help you to gain some extra amount into your wallet umpewe na opedewe sidekick roland amate shark z shatter movement empire is also seated for us to do the final in the series of the recap of december booked and busy activities by shatter movement empire headlined by shatter wale so join us on this journey and in some few minutes it will be wrapping up in all row so which are the Before events we, left we enter into that mm -hmm. let's say some big salute and big shout outs to the team members okay the shatter movement team members oh okay also helped in making uh running around yeah busy schedules here and there everybody that played mm. the role mm. from 
from the top man, which is Shatawale, to even everybody that was yeah. part of the team. Yeah. Maybe you can, you can mention something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like so that. starting from top, um, road managers, yeah. um, uh, what's his name? Jewage. Now I wanted to mention the woman first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mawina, yes, Mawina, yes. Mawina, uh, Jwed, who is an executive member of the top management. Of course, Roland Amate is also here. Then we can move on to our DJ. Um, for some reasons, DJ Ubete is off the screens for now, but we hope that he bounces back very soon. So DJ Foxy, uh, who played throughout the December for us. Shout out to DJ Foxy. Then to our security team, um, let me say shout outs to our uh, new security uh, partners, that is Aswavo Security, led by Rambo and his people, Ima and Co. Great guys, no two ways about that. But Charlie, you know, shout outs to Aswavo Security. Our partnership with you guys have been so cool, and personally, I'm enjoying the you outings and shots. everybody and all. Then we can also come back home where the home security guys, led yes. by uh, Top Shot, the aka top Shata Kumoji, of course, with his lieutenant and i'm talking about guy man guys. i'm talking about all the guys who have been part of the team making it happen and of course shatters pa and our special assistant abongo tiptoe lane yes abongo tiptoe lane is also there and again i'll move on to the production the media and the tv production guys yes. i'll be giving mention to the no rich code nice boys. that is the rich bad boys no code nice kingsley bruce, bruce lee mm. and the rest of the guys then a new team max no world max no world they are also a new team so two production teams with the camp uh, let me say shout outs to sam and the rest of the guys in the max no world they are a new team i don't know most of them their names of head so these are uh, charlie that's an institution right charlie. there look at the number of people i can't even go ahead to even mention drivers of course yes and, and let's let's say shout outs to the drivers who also conveyed us especially mm. throughout mm. throughout both mm. in in accra and outside accra in yeah fact, yeah those, those guys really were yeah, i have one of my favorites in kumasi jmp yes, yes kofi jmp <laughs> let me say big up to kofi jmp kofi jmp and there is guy. there is an alex the guy who sent us the voice note mm. Mm. alex mm. is also mm. the mm. uh, alex is also of there course, in kumasi course, uh these are wonderful people and and when we talk about protecting artists because they really provide employment streams, these are some of the things the we are artists. talking about. Mention the number of people. Just look at the number of people we've mentioned on just one person, and it means a lot, of course. And there were more external ones like... Oh, Popeye yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, other, yeah. Other yeah. Oh, there are more there, there yes. were more. We can't even mention all of them. <laughs> and no two ways about that. Yeah, we can't yeah, mention yeah, all of them. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So, so big ups to you guys mm. and to the fans. We can't forget about you any course, day. You guys are our backbone. Mm. You are always everywhere. Now we enter into the business of the day. And mm -hmm. of course, we have Taste of Ghana. Yeah. Taste of Ghana. We have Calm Down Africa and Mem Life concert, which okay. also happened on the 3rd. So we have Taste of Ghana on 27th. Okay. The forecourt of the State House, which is the Parliament House. Uh, okay. So let me start by saying, if there was one well-organized program, among the shows we played, I think I will add um, Taste of Ghana, Taste of Ghana to, 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 to the list because everything was well organized. And of course, if you are talking about Parliament House, that is a high security zone. Of so course. anybody who is coming there comes there with respect. Sure. That show was also graced by some prominent people yeah. in Ghana. I heard even IGP himself was, was in the auditorium or was around. I heard Boris uh, Kujo was yeah. there. Um, like more prominent people, including top officials from Ghana Tourism Authority, mm -hmm. as well as JIPC, all of them were there. And everything was done so beautifully. Their setup was on point. Their sound was on point. In fact, their stage was really beautiful, to, say, to say the least. Yeah, their stage was really beautiful. And it was a show to promote Ghana. And really and truly, that day, everybody who was on that platform promoted Ghana. Shata, that was when Shata said, if you are here from abroad, you have to get a husband from, from here. Ghana, yeah, <laughs> get a partner. Get a partner from Ghana, give birth and all those yes. things. Yes. So, Test of Ghana was also one show that I really enjoyed. The standard was really a top, top standard. And uh, it's my first time witnessing it. I know they've been doing it, but it was my first time witnessing it last December. 
And it is something that I would want to be a part of. Uh, like I told you earlier, Socrates Safo was in a meeting and he told me how the people were impressed with Shatter's performance. That was something they did not like, though. Uh, I'll tell you later. Uh -huh. It was not about Shatter. It yeah, was about yeah. one, of our, one of our people. One of our and of course, people. I'll be handling that of course, behind it, the scenes. It will, it will, it will be fine. Be of be course. Fine. But for the organization, like you said, top mm -hmm. notch. And I know even prior to the December festivity, somebody like you has been a huge advocate mm. for the fact that the state should be able to create some of these platforms yes. in order to promote or even drive the agenda that we mm. want to make a mm. tourism destination country. And when you look at what they put up on the 27th at, at the State House, that was very beautiful. Beautiful. In fact, you, you couldn't have asked for anything better again. Yes. Like, that was it. Yes. That was it. Every agenda you would want to drive on that stage provided. Mm. Every mm. other thing you would want to sell provided. And I like how diverse the whole thing was. Mm -hmm. in, in fact, it was a blend of most of the things that we would want to sell from fashion to food to tourism like mm. I, I mean the places the setup from the entrance where they put so many of the monuments in ghana there they give a replica where people can at least have a few yeah that will entice them to go to the original places like the fort and castles mm. and all that mm. the canopy walks with and, and all that they created all these experiences. Yeah, there. I saw that canopy work. It yes, was beautiful. And, 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 and I, I don't know if that place they can make it available for events because the place was so suitable. It was so spacious. Well, they, they've been doing it. They've been the people have been. I know they've been place. doing the funerals and all well, those things they, there. But that's that's more. But other events have also gone been happening there. Been happening there. Yes. No, that place is so conducive for events. Of course. Like, it was spacious. Even with this, they still barricaded some places, so mm -hmm. the audience were left in the middle. Mm -hmm. So even if they had opened up, like, standing still, anywhere and watch. Still. Oh, Charlie, I love that place still. for events. Very organized mm -hmm. and very straightforward. Because, you know, the place is a high security zone. Yeah. Everybody that would come there comported themselves, or that came there comported themselves in one way or the other. Mm -hmm. And it was, it was very beautiful. It was very beautiful. From the fashion display to the food and everything, where they even gave out some of the Ghanaian dishes out for free. Yeah. People from the diaspora tasted it and all that. And mm. these are ways that we can win them, and tomorrow they can give recommendations to other nationals who would also want to come and visit Ghana. And of course, the star performer of the night, mm -hmm. the taste of Ghana yeah. really was there mm. to give mm. that taste. Mm. Of what Ghana wanted to mm. do the world, and he was there to give it out. And Fact. You you can't you can't take anything away from him from the Fact. time he mounted the stage and the time that he was given. I would emphasize again, he was there on time. Mm -hmm. He was there on time, delivered his set to the core beautifully, and everybody was happy. Look at the number of people that were present there to meet Shatawali, and when he climbed the stage, of course, he did not disappoint. Never. And again, preaching Ghana. Mm. Helping promote the platform that has given that he was given. This is taste of Ghana, and the agenda is to drive Ghana. You know, it it came hand in hand with people. Yes, the the advocacy of selling Ghana to the world as mm -hmm. well, and even Ghanaian music. And he went beyond to even encourage people to find partners in Ghana. That is that is good. That is beautiful because if we have other nationals, we know the world is a global village. Fact. And we need Fact. people to preach that peace and unity. Mm. And mm. when he climbed the stage, no, he did that beautifully. Aside his beautiful his statement about Ghana was so on point. Was, was, was very solid. And mm. I could see the smiles on other people at mm. the nationals' mm. faces. And mm. I know mm. they, they wouldn't regret spending that time at the uh, state house to witness such a performance. You are right. Um, which other show are we to look so at? So we go to the Countdown Africa. That was um, that's on on on, on that first on night. That first night, yes, the Countdown Africa <laughs> concept that happened also at the Independence Day. Countdown Africa. Africa. I gave so many people groupings. Oh, oh, oh! About in one of the episodes mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. if you ever thought that Shata Wale would only be performing at night or at dawn of his event, then you should start changing yeah. your plans because yes. based on what time the organizers will give to him, he would appear. Mm -hmm. He doesn't necessarily come late. Mm -hmm. So once again, the Countdown Africa show was actually a show to initiate 2024. A show to introduce the new year mm -hmm. with some display of fireworks and crackers and all that. So at the Independence Square, the organizers put together another beautiful stage. 
coupled with some quality sound and they were ready to give us that display like you go to dubai and the way they are able to do lights and fire display to make meaning that was the same thing they did so to them the event had only 12 midnight to kick start and right after 12 midnight within some 10 minutes or so of fire display the next show should happen and just so i forget there is a show produced for tv and there is a show produced for audience uh. the countdown africa show was actually originally produced for tv it was on it was live on aqua but magic yeah. that was what everybody should know so it was not a show for the audience it was a show produced for tv because all them fire displays and those things they did it was to capture it for tv purposes TV, yes, yes they were captured for tv purposes so the moment shutter Wally was given 11.55. I knew so many people would be missing it. Personally, some people who took tickets for me, I told them that, Charlie, today, this show, Shatter will be coming earlier. So if you know you come, don't be late. Come early. Shatter was given 11.55, and exactly 11.55, wow. his car parked there. He was there before Sarkodie came out, came off the stage. Off stage yes. He was there before they started counting down one, two, three, four, five, before the firecrackers, uh, the fire display went on. And right after they introduced him, and poof, the show was done. Mm. Performing for more than an hour, about one hour, 30 minutes. Crowd back to back. That was where they found that old, old man. Mm -hmm. The old man with no teeth. That, <laughs> that was where they found him. He was also charged up, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody was charged up. Uh, at a point, security could not even contain them. I can tell you, the organizers were even begging us to stop midway of our show because they felt, Charlie, the kind of pressure that was coming to them, it was too much and to handle. Yeah, yeah, so they just wanted the show to end. Right after the shutter ended, we even thought they were going to play music to entertain the people they were scared so they shut everything down poof dj um what's his name uh dj no shutters former dj Overty. no 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 um, dj varaski was ready to play but the moment shutter finished now he said yeah. that quick 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 he dropped one song now poof the people were not ready for any risk <laughs> They just closed and Shata Sarkodie and the composers on one stage was beautiful. Sh Sarkodie was was on stage, gave some shout outs to Shatawale. It was welcomed by the fans. He performed Major Girl yeah. with a song for both of them. And that was also cool. As a matter of fact, um, Countdown Africa was also a beautiful concert. I loved the... Um, the, the nature of the audience that came, like rich mm. audience, um, VIP, celebrity view, and of course the general public was also there. Uh, just that in Ghana, when it is Shatawale, the fans, you have to really work times 10 to control them. Else, no matter which people are there, they overshadow them. Because on the day, the moment they broke to the front, you know, nobody mattered anymore. Like it was about the fans and Shatter. And, and that is how he does it with them all the time. Yes, Ro, so I, you can I, add something I mean, to it. Um, for, for the countdown Africa, it was, it was the reception for me. Mm -hmm. I think when, when they started coming at, at us on stage to, to end the performance, one, one of the reasons they gave was <clears throat> the people at the entrance who are even trying to come mm -hmm. to us at that time. They don't think they can hold it again okay because already the people in the space were too much for them to handle mm -hmm. yes i know originally they they planned this for television however they needed some level of audience in order to make the whole production very beautiful which is why they put artists and um, their fans or gave tickets out for people to come okay. and in fact um they, they were overwhelmed if you ask me mm -hmm. because of the numbers that came Mm -hmm. And it was all because Shatter was going to the Independence Square, nothing else. Okay. In fact, Shatter around Independence Square Stadium, all those places, it's, it's like a homecoming. Mm -hmm. It's like a party. Mm -hmm. It's like I'm going to meet my people. Mm. And to them, that was what happened. In fact, I wasn't surprised when I went to the gate and I saw about times two of the people in the space. Wow. I was like, ah, so where, where are you? I you guys were going to and to them they were wow. prepared they think the concert is now about to start like their presence is going to and when before shutter ended his set i could actually see the energy from him 
to the fans, like mm -hmm. that connection between him and the fans. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. I believe it was that energy that even when he even after he had left for about. 20 30 minutes, it people was still were still the, there. Yeah. Like, people yeah. were still there. Some people yeah. couldn't believe, ah, Shatter had left, maybe he would come back. And, and, and they were there singing, No Shatter, no, no Wale, no, no show. show, no Wale, no show. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. they were there, even after 20 30 minutes, people still like the energy there. If you had even played a Shatter playlist back to back self, you would have still had a concert, mm, mm. you would have still had a concert mm. there in, in the space. And, and it was, it was beautiful. And I also like. The quality of audience that were present, okay. on, present on the day, mm -hmm. from different sections, both corporate, the party type, the young, the aged, and you see, it was very evident the the man who who went viral singing Shatawale songs. Yeah, the, fact, even the old man, the right? old man, yes. Okay. The, the perception is that oh, Shatter, yes, Shatter is is for the youth. The core fan base of the Shatter movement is the youth, mm -hmm. but then. We should also know that his relevant cut across. His relevant True. cut across. And you can see most people from the diaspora who were even present on the day at the VIP lounge were even the way they were jamming mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. all that. You realize mm -hmm. that Charlie, these are people who don't live with us in Ghana. Mm. Yet they are able to connect to that energy and you see some of them trying to sing and they can't get the lyrics right and they'll yeah. be singing left, yeah. right, center. I, I, I saw something like that at Accra yes, Bagaza. Yes, yes, yes. One vice lady like that. Otofa left. Otofa left. Otofa left. I remember very well. It uh -huh. <laughs> was just bubbling like that. But it was, it, was, it was beautiful and it shows the person's relevance mm -hmm. when he was on stage. I believe, yes, when, even when he had left the stage, I was, I was just imagining other events that people perform when they are done and the whole event shuts down. Mm. But the people were still there like... Still, we won't shatter. We are still not satisfied even after an hour performance. Mm -hmm. This is the repertoire the guy has. The guy doesn't come. And I am I am looking at performances that go beyond an hour. Okay. This is rich. This is what we call value for money. Because, yes, some people are good performers, though. But you realize that because they have limited repertoire, mm -hmm. they can't deliver to that extent. But this okay. guy has the repertoire. He is a good performer, a good entertainer. Even when he breaks in the middle and decides to give certain speeches, carnival, even those ones are even still entertaining. Okay. And at the Countdown Africa, I believe they got value for money. Let me say oh, big course. ups to Rhythms Africa, who yeah. also served for, for the sound and other yeah. parts of the logistics. And oh, Polly Blaze. Polly Blaze. Polly Let's Blaze. give shout outs to Polly Blaze. Blaze. He was part of the production of team. The production and team um, a certain Yvonne, um, mm. I don't have much information mm. about her. And all but the partners, she's the partners of, of the event. We, mm -hmm. we really appreciate you having Shatawale on board. And mm. I know that and I believe that next year or this, this year, it is going to happen again. I am just praying that, yes, because we've given them a good show and a very beautiful show, mm -hmm. they would come back. Now let's enter into the one that ushered us into the new year proper. You know, okay. It was 31st and 1st. Mm -hmm. Back to back, no sleep. We were doing sing -a -ton. In fact, this was a show at all. <laughs> this was a show at all. Shatter was doing a show at all where he played 23rd and 24th, and mm -hmm. now 31st and 1st. Mm -hmm. It was a back to back thing. Mm -hmm. It was a back to back thing, no sleeping. And the energy that the team used from 31st. Into the first was one that I would commend the whole team. In fact, the energy was great. Mm -hmm. These two days were days that were very crucial. Yeah. In fact, they were very, very busy days on our calendar, and so many people were caught doing other things. And meme life, let me say, music is my life, people. Records, we, we want to say a huge thank you to you for it, first and foremost, for putting up such a beautiful concert, concert that okay. Shatter came to headline. Mm. And that is what the concept that ushered us into the new year proper. proper. Yeah, that's the yeah. first show the first ever show in, 2024. in 2024. Mm. In 2024. And it happened in Tema. In fact, from Accra to Tema, yeah. Shatter <laughs> went to Sporting. <laughs> he killed them, killed them, killed them. Killed them, killed them. Um, the Tema show, I think we need to commend the organizers. Mm -hmm. um, they did so many things beautiful. I think my only advice for them is that they have to change the venue for uh, that show if they really want to continue building the brand. Because when we got to the venue and I saw the space at which the show was done, I knew that one day, if they don't change from there, 
there is going to be a big problem because one, th this was like a middle of a street mm -hmm. which has been blocked a for block. for a party. And when it happens like that, if the numbers are manageable, mm -hmm. then you know that you are safe. You can control it. But the numbers there were not manageable. Mm -hmm. They were not. So it is my prayer that um, in their subsequent events, they look for a conducive venue, maybe preferably a park or something. Very yeah, a very spacious park. They build giant stage for them to do. But in terms of treatment for artists, I think they did something beautiful. If you go to their cold room, artist room, artist room the way the place was managed, every artist could just come there and do something. Like it was a place for um a, a, a socialization, socialization for artists everybody came there and if you are just around and you want to talk there is someone that you know obviously mm -hmm. that you can talk to once again shata was the guy who was the man of the night Everyone for that particular show for. most of the people who were there i can tell you in all honesty and in all authority that most of them who were there were there to see shatawali most of them who were there, they came purposely for Shatawali. That is why even though we performed a little late, I think after 3 a.m., the numbers were still huge. Still waiting for him. Yes, we performed at, after about 3 a.m. The numbers were still huge because they were waiting for Shata to appear. And he appeared and gave them one of That's what I said. The street came uh, right. He went on cloud <laughs> nine, man. Shout out to DJ Foxy. Mm, mm, <laughs> DJ Foxy tried to kill some of his vibes and yeah, he, he was not spared. He yeah. Like he was not spared. Cry. Like he really brought that kinship in him on the street mm. and he told the people what he had to tell them. Once again, people also accepted it. Security people were happy. Like almost everybody who was part of the Tema show, that is the Meme Life concert, mm. was also cool. And as it stands now, I believe that the partnership between Shatawale and the Meme Life guy is so far so good. He has a song with one of their boys, yes, that is uh, Mr. Mr. Miles. Mr. Miles. And yes. on the day he introduced him, performed with him, performed. and that was so beautiful. And right after, the team started thinking about rest because I knew <laughs> that show was more or less like our icebreaker. Like, finish that show and let everybody go and rest. My DJ was tired, security people were tired. Like, almost everybody, was everybody exhausted. was exhausted, including Shata himself. Yeah, yeah. So, right after that show, that was when we started toning everything down. down. Till now, we are not fully, fully yeah, recovered yet. Yeah, but we believe that, yeah, maybe the next something should just come and kick us up. Maybe another show should come and kick, kick us up. Uh -huh. But since calls have been coming, then I, I'm, I'm very positive, Charlie. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Bye, bye. yeah. Just that I want, I still want some more resting days for Shata. Yeah, <laughs> that, that one I need it yeah, for yeah, him. He I need some more resting days for him. So if not for it, maybe ending somewhere, mm. uh, we can think about something. But for now, dear. I want him to be resting to and rest. uh, let, let's pay attention to the releases that he wants to mm. be doing. Mm. Uh, we want to do some more videos this okay. year as well, just to support mm. the movement's desire to have the Akin release some more videos. That is also part of the agenda. So, yeah, um, so far. You wanted to talk about the guy that was kicked off stage. Oh, the, it happened in Tema. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. <laughs> that particular incident has been captured in most of our videos. Mm. Uh, there was this guy who, when Shatter appeared on the stage, was coming to do whatever, whatever to Shatter, and how Roland caught him. No, like, nobody paid attention. How were you so swift on that guy? Um, you know, we, we, we usually get to the venue before the, the rest I, of the team I know, comes. So I know. when we get there, we survey the whole environment. To do recce. The, you do a proper recce, look at the loopholes, the strongholds, and everything mm -hmm. before. So I was there, I had surveyed all the departments in terms of security threats and invasion and all that. And mm. I realized the way even the state was designed, there was a possibility someone would invade from there. You know, when it's shatter, everybody goes haywire. Mm -hmm. Some, yeah. it is not as if they would want to hurt him, but just for the love they have for him. However, some of these love, if not controlled, would be abused. Can, can, can go south. And some of these are the reasons why we have security guys and even some of the team members with him anytime he's on stage. Mm. So when he when he entered, I actually saw the guy coming with top speed. Top speed. In fact, where he came from, 
is one that I wasn't surprised nobody saw him because mm. he passed through the armpits of a policeman. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh yes, he was he was skyscraping on people until he got you know when he got in front of the barricade, it had already been broken, and the police were preventing people from crossing that line. So unawares, he just had to maneuver his way through, and they they had mounted a speaker in front of the stage. So a step on that speaker gave him access to the whole stage. And in fact, I was so concerned about him and Chata. You know, that particular space, that particular side of the stage, is not one that two people can just stand share. Uh, okay. or share. Mm. So I was very particular about him. Yes, even though probably his intentions were not known and he was coming with top speed, you can just translate it into any other thing that you'd want to translate. However, that particular move Mm -hmm. was not good for him and the mm -hmm. artist mm -hmm. if mm -hmm. you ask me that particular mm -hmm. move was not good for him and the artist and therefore he had to pre be prevented from from even no that, that that was that was so swift personally when i saw that. when i saw that i said wow that was mm -hmm. quick because i never saw it coming like i we never see this coming <laughs> see this you never see this coming <laughs> and i was i was so i was so happy with your swiftness mm -hmm. because by then most of the security guys had not even taken she, their rightful yes, positions, positions yet, yet. Uh -huh. so and, and let me say let me say sorry to to the guy in question i, I believe <laughs> if, if if he he was in process or whatever. Why has he contacted you or something? Oh, no, no, no. no. I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm because just I know saying, many people were talking about it. Oh, those I'm, who saw it. I'm, I'm just saying, you know, because he belongs to the family mm. and some of these things happen mm. sometimes out of excitement. Mm. Mm. So let mm. me just let me just say well, sorry to him if, if he got hurt. It was just to make sure the work goes on and yeah. some of these things we have to do. So it's it's part of the job. That was so positive. We should all take that it like positive. that and next time know how to guys when we are out there working like that i pray that you guys understand and give the necessary space that we need especially for uh shata wale sometimes the rush to come to him i really don't know what the people will be looking for the rush to come to him is so uh crazy if you are not careful a security man will push you and there will be trouble like so um uh, Roland here is uh, apologizing to whoever was affected. It's very, very unfortunate. So we pray that you guys also allow us that freedom to work when time is up for us to do the work. So as it stands now, it is over, but it is not over. It is December that just went by, but January just started. Mm. And January is already pregnant with so many activities. 2024 is already loaded with so many events and I know that we are going to do it. And to, 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 to wrap up, let me say something to wrap up. You see, sometimes people have projected some uh, notion that, oh, even it is not easy to get shattered to perform. If you get shattered for a performance, there will be issues, blah, blah, blah. It is never true. It is never like that. Anytime a promoter gets an issue with Shatter, you have to ask the promoter some very salient questions as well because they have been the problem. All the shows that we lined up to play, we were able to do all except one. And I keep telling you, we spent time to talk about just that one on another day. We were able to play all because the organizers or the promoters we dealt with, everybody dealt with us nice. If they said A, they did A. If they said B, they did B. And that was all. That is why he was also able to meet all the demands. Come at 10, he was there at 10. Come at 11, he's there at 11. But you go deal with someone, the person will say A, you ask him to do A and he's doing a, B, he's doing C. Then later if the issues also turn out to be something else, then A, he's like that, he's like that. It is never like that. Don't be deceived. Never be deceived. Do things right. Get the right information. Exactly. Do things right and let's make it happen like we have been doing for everybody. On this note, I'm sure you'd once again say thank you to the Most High God for his protection uh, because mm -hmm. December was really hectic. And uh, if you go through such a period without even an, a, 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 hurt, a hurt on your body, it means a lot. Personally, I'm so grateful. Flying in and out, driving in and out, and nobody came hurt. It is, it is a glory, and we have to give thanks to God. And to the boss of the empire, that is Shatawale himself, we are grateful for his dedication, for his commitment to this particular cause. And the fact that he also sacrificed himself to do all the back-to-back -back shows that so many artists would not be able to do. That was a great achievement, if you ask me. And to the fans, you guys are just marvelous. You guys are just 
uh, if I, I don't know what what to say again because you guys have done all. I, as much as Shatter is concerned, I'm so sure that even if he stops singing, his his fans will always be playing his songs at events and still be making money for him in his name when he's not even performing. You guys are just marvelous and we really appreciate it. Keep the support and let it run throughout till he will bow down and drop his mic. Boom. That he's done. Until then, let me say thanks to Digital Rasta, currency who did Camera Richie Flex. Editor, director of the show, and of course, Roland Amate, who is also part of the Road People for Shut Up Movement Empire, always ready to assist us to do what we've got to do here. My name is Sammy Flex. we we'll meet again, but if it is a show, connect us. If it is a business, connect us. Our number is on the screen for us to do business any day. Uh, Shut Up Movement Empire. Empire is strong forever, and it is for life, like we keep saying. Be good to each other, and remember, that's the year just started. More things to happen. We're out of here.